Peep, peep, llamas and alpacas. This is Livy, your professor of cupology, and today, I don't know. <laughs> As we saw the few days ago, Elder Kettle has taken over Twitter and the countdown and includes some amazing pictures, including this one of him as a kid. And this picture, it's just so cute. I cannot get over how cute this is. I want the I want to make this the wallpaper on my phone. That's how cute this picture is. But what do you guys think? I looked into the community comments. So let's shut up and swallow. This community comment, oh my goodness, it is like a lot of <laughs> good theories and a lot of fangirling, fanboying, whatever you want to say. Like squealing. And I don't blame ya. I don't blame ya. So this is gonna be a pretty long video because of how many comments are on this. So sit tight, order a pizza, order some Taco Bell, grab a snack, make yourself a pot of coffee. I actually have my coffee right here. And also please do not get discouraged if your comment was not read. Most likely Likely the comment was not read because you posted it right after I've made this video. All right, random toy fun randomness. Elder Kettle as a kid is so freaking adorable. I wonder what his actual name was when he was a kid. Surely his name isn't Elder Kettle when he was a kid. There's a lot of that too, and I'll get to that in a bit. I can imagine Baby Cuphead, Baby Mugman, and Miss Chalice. But yes, as Elder Kettle as a kid, he cannot be called Elder Kettle because that's more for like the elderly, of course. So my theory about that is Kid Kettle. That That's my theory is Kid Kettle, or like someone else said, just Kettle. Anyway, let's move on. Noble Clover said, the strong must protect the sweet. Oh, hell yeah. Vixen the Amazing, OMG. I love toast, protect this child, please. Cool dude, Sal. I love Elder Kettle, but a kid, he is so cute. I am really excited for the Cuphead show. Landon S, he is so flippin' cute. Really excited to see what they do with him. I am too. Supersonic Jack, I think this is Elder Kettle telling a story to Cuphead and Mugman about a childhood memory to help them out. Which, yes, I'm actually getting that vibe as well. Because, you know, Elder Kettle always teaches the boys, like, not just in the game, but he also says it in every book I've read. Pretty much. Every book I've read. He's warning the boys about something. Crippy Cone Animation. I think it's going to have a flashback from back when he was a child. Again, another flashback theory. Jed R. Really adorable. I didn't expect to see a younger Kettle. Maybe we could see a younger Cuphead and Mugman? I'm thinking this is some sort of flashback and we can see a flashback of the younger Cups. This could be used to show the relationship between Kettle and the Cups. Since he acts as a parental figure or perhaps can be used at the beginning of the show to show them growing up to where they are now. All I know is this is not in the very beginning of the show. I already know what the first episode's about. But that's, I can agree with that. And I know we all have theories of how Elder Kettle adopted the, the Cup Brothers. Like, I actually have my own personal theory, but I'm not going to say it because that's actually a spoiler to something I'm writing. Frankinator Gaming. I think he looks adorable, and I'm interested in hearing about how he grew up to be a, an elder today. He just grew up. He just grew up. Rewritten says, this might be him telling the boys not to do something by telling the time he did something as a kid. You know, one of those kettles. Also, I bet 50 bucks in this flashback he'll be called Kid Kettle or Child Kettle. Kid Kettle is more catchy than Child Kettle. Drum V says, wait, I thought that he was a cup as a kid. I don't think that's possible, but I get where you're going at right there. Grace Suki Scarlet's sister said, aw, that's so adorable. Ava the Art Freak, I just want to give him a big old hug. He's too precious. Just see, eight free free. So wonderful to see Elder Kettle as a precious little lad. So adorbs. Bulby 101. So cool that we're getting backstories on lots of characters from the Cuphead universe. I've been waiting ever since they first announced the show about two years ago. Wow. <laughs> It's really weird that we've been waiting for the show for years, not just like months, but years. And from all the clips we've seen, that wait is most definitely worth it. Oh, hell frickin' yeah. Hell frickin' yeah, and let me tell you, I've never waited this long for a show, but I can already tell you, and again, I do not need cards to predict this. This show is gonna be over worth it. Way past worth it. 
Lilo and Stitch fan 926 said, Now that adorable. Robert M. I like a lot the fact that Elder Kettle has a kid. I don't think that's Elder Kettle's kid. I think that is Elder Kettle, but w we may be wrong about that. Maybe it's because it's making the show so much better with new characters. I don't think that's his kid. I, I think that's him as a kid. But then again, we, we may be wrong, but then who's the mommy? Okay, we're not getting into that. Okay, Fire Miracle. That's so cute. If they are thinking of showing flashback scenes, then I'm really hoping they show a flashback about how Elder Kettle took in Cuphead and Mugman. Again, I would like to see that myself. My little theory is that maybe Kettle found them abandoned when they were babies. Oh, that's, that's like, oh, oh, that's like adorable and sad. Oh my god. Okay. Pope my goat. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. Baby Kettle is so adorable. This is most likely a flashback of sorts. Probably Elder Kettle telling the cup bros about a time when he was younger. You know, old people stuff. I'd definitely love to hear about the childhoods of all the other adult Cuphead characters, especially from our good man King Dice. Oh, hell yeah. I'm, I actually have a story myself of King Dice as a kid, but again, spoilers. But yeah, I would like to see something like that, like if there's a flashback of like the adult Cuphead character as kids, or their age at least. Pixelboy127 says, are we getting backstories on, on characters now? I think we are. Bexity Delight, and again, I'm really sorry if I mispronounced these names. Cuphead fans, it's Baby Kettle. Me, dead because of how cute this is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty much like, I did not think I would fangirl over a kid elder cuddle. Like, that is just so freaking cute. And, oh my god, can you imagine his voice? Oh my god. God. Mind Sonic 06. I have a theory. This is when Elder Kettle tells his past to the boys. Maybe it will show why he don't want them to go to the casino like in the games. Maybe he did exactly what they did when he went there. Again, this there's no casino in the show that was actually confirmed by the producers. Like, there's nothing really about the casino in the show. But it, it can be like they did something else that he's warning them. Like, why not they, they should do that? Anyways. Silly Vision Studios. I found this cute. And lastly, Princess Peachy. Elder Kettle looks cute. I just love this flashback. Oh my god. And we can definitely tell it's a flashback. And by like the storyboard art, it's supposed to be about he found out about his handle or something about his handle. Oh my god. I cannot wait to see what this episode's about or why he's telling the boys about this. But <laughs> and what, what we were all fangirled about is, oh my god, he's wearing footsie pajamas and there's a trap door. Oh, it's so cute. But those are the community comments for Kid Kettle. Oh my goodness, he is just so cute. And I am really looking forward to more about Elder Kettle and like again, this past um, countdown, I was really pleasantly surprised about the amazing new stuff about Elder Kettle and how interesting he's going to be. He's going to be more of an interesting character than I give him credit for. So, well done on that. So, tell me in the comment section below, do you agree with any of these theories and comments? What are your theories and comments we can continue talking in this comment section and leave a like on the video subscribe and parry the bell so you never miss your cupology classes visit my social medias check out my tea public shop where i have merch random merch and there's going to be new merch soon and my discord server is in the description we talk about cuphead non-stop and we'll see you next time knock out bravo <laughs>